Hey, 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 Whoopi Snappers, this is Tortimer the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pixelmon on the Pixelmon XO server. Today we are going to be working on our shop here at Spawn. Let me, it's been a while since I've recorded, so let me, give, there we go, hit some buttons and fantastic. There we are. Um, so it's, uh, we, it's been a while since I've recorded because um, I, I kind of mass recorded everything you guys have seen in the last couple of weeks. Uh, within a couple of days, and then I uh, I ended up uh, taking a week off because I just did not have time after I got home from my trip uh, to really get into uh, recording it all before the next week started. And I was like, well, I guess we're taking a week off and uh, upcoming holiday build. JC just finished tearing down the uh, Saint Radish Oddish Saint Oddish whatever uh, that we looked at uh, last last episode. Yeah, last episode, it came out like the day after St. Patrick's Day or something like that. Oh, it's been a while. Getting back into the swing of things, though, and I'm excited to be doing so. Um, but yeah, so I want to get you guys up to speed on what we've been doing. Uh, so yeah, we are now, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but we are now in charge of EV, the EV training shop uh, school deal thing. Um... <laughs> Put up a second sign. Guess you should check it out. Uh, so we are now in charge of uh, kind of like we were over, <laughs> uh, kind of like we were over. Ooh, a little Charmander. Kind of like we were over on Decimon. Let me finish my sentence here while we're uh, while we're at it. Uh, so kind of like we were over at Decimon. Um, I had opened up my School of Hard Knocks over there, um, and uh, and now I am. Uh, the proud new manager of the EV training gig on this server as well, um, because Studs, the guy who had claimed it beforehand, um, ended up between school and, and, and doing recording and stuff, he just had zero time to um, to actually be doing anything EV related. Uh, he didn't have time to be training other people's Pokemon uh, when he needed to be training his own and things like that. So, um, Max and some of the other people had talked to me a lot about doing some EV training for them, and I was like, all right, well, let me talk to Studs, and uh, we figured it all out. He was like, yeah, totally, take it over. I won't be doing anything with it. Uh, and he gave me his plot and everything, and I've been doing some building because I've been getting some lag on the servers recently, and I didn't really want to uh, be attempting to build uh, with you guys with lag because building in general is annoying in, in survival. Uh, so I didn't really want to get into it, but um, I decided I wanted to since we're kind of doing the evil theme I've got my evil house over here. Uh, we're working on kind of our bond villain uh, Lair over out at the gym. I love this place so much uh, We've got a lot of work to do out at the gym area still though. That's coming along nicely We looked at that a couple of episodes ago um, I wanted to make this shop uh, kind of in the same aesthetic as well so I was thinking originally, you know, maybe we get like a, we build like a 13 passenger van in Minecraft, like a white sided, just like a creepy van, uh, and like put a sign on it that says free candy on the side of it. We would give out vitamins and, and, uh, EV training expertise, but, uh, I figured Jay's got his little, uh, his little truck over there, um, and I just, I didn't really want to. I wanted to do something that would be a little more, I don't know, n but just by, by its very nature, kind of evilly looking. So I decided uh, to build kind of a way, what I'm going for here. Well, let's, let's, let's do, let's do, let's do some stuff here real quick. Uh, so let's get off Metagross. Did I just, it's either lag or I didn't take any damage. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so uh, let's pop this guy down here for a second. Uh, and then we'll get this out of the way. We'll get this, this, this. And not that apparently, because we are out of space. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna throw down some detail work here up top, and let's see if you guys can't figure out what we're kind of going for. Uh, do -do. We do have speed or, or jump boost on. I'm not sure why jump boost is on, um, but I, as I've been hanging out at spawn, I've, I've noticed that. So somebody, uh, there is a, a beacon over there. Um, they, they expanded the shopping district. So the Apricorn Farm had been over here. We'll go take a look at it here in a second. Um, but now it's uh, expanded shopping areas. I think Jeannie, if I remember correctly, she had a shop out there last time I looked. Um, but I'm not sure why why speed boost. Uh, but that beacon's sitting in front of Jeannie's shop, so I'm not, I'm not sure. But 
Anyway, so let's throw that on. That should melt that snow and everything pretty well. Do, do. Thinking we've got some lag. Hold on. <laughs> I want to test something. Because I feel like I should have been taking some damage here. Um, there we go. Alright, well, damage is working. Uh, but yeah, so here's kind of the shop. And I don't know if that looks familiar to anybody. Uh, what I'm kind of going for, uh, and you'll have to let me know if in the comments below if I've kind of gotten this. I didn't want anything too superimposing. I mean, my, sh my house is already uh, kind of big, uh, real tall and everything like that. But I, one of the things that I thought, I don't know, just kind of stood out to me and was kind of thinking of like evilly type builds to do. Um, it's, it's a kind of a miniature Tower of Sauron. Uh, from Lord of the Rings. I don't know if that... I, 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 let me know if you guys think I got, captured the aesthetic well enough. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the deal. And instead of like the Eye of Sauron there, uh, I figured we'd do like a little Pokeball there. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. We've got some work to do and I'll probably continue to do some detail -y stuff. Let's see, we've got this and we'll put this away and we'll grab that. Alright, so I want to put a trader in here because what we're going to be doing is EV training stuff. Um, and I know there's traders right there in the Pokeball, but I had an extra one lying around that I'd found in my travels. Uh, so I figured we'll throw that in here. Um, let's throw the computer there, maybe. Maybe? Uh, and then maybe we'll put the... Oh, nope. Maybe we'll put the chest there. Maybe that's the payment chest. <laughs> Jay likes to bomb my builds with, uh, with signs. Um, so yeah, so uh, we're doing, again, EV training stuff. We've taken over management from studs. Uh, so what that's going to mean is we've got this trader here uh, because people will need to be training me their Pokemon if I'm going to be doing the EV training for them, which I know a lot of people want me to just go ahead and do it for them. Um, so And that's totally fine. Um, for the most part, I've got it figured out enough in this mod that I can pretty well, uh, pretty well do that without a whole lot of fuss. Uh, was there, was there lag? Was there, there we go. Uh, grab some dirt real quick. So, um, it, it's gotten to the point where I can pretty well do, um, do EV training without a whole lot of fuss, uh, on my end. Um, Obviously, it still takes some time. Okay, so that is... Uh, that's where I want to put this guy. Um, obviously, it still takes time. Um, but I think I've got it pretty well figured out. You know, if I'm training um, certain stats and all that, I know which biomes to go to and everything. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty painless process. At least, pretty mindless process at this point. Uh, I can throw on some Netflix shows or something that I probably would be watching anyway over a lunch or, or something when I probably should be recording instead. Uh, but, um, you know, once I finished EV training my Pokemon, we'll, uh, we'll have plenty of time to EV train everybody else's. Uh, and again, like, uh, I've, I've EV trained on the server already, like, a couple of a couple of Pokemon for uh, Kays. Um, he had a sh he was trying to figure out a new water type to put on his team or whatever. He wanted something that was fast and strong, uh, but he's the shiny gym leader, so I was trying to figure out what he's got. He had a handful of mag uh, shiny Magikarp, though. I'm like, man, shiny Gyarados. We had Clifford on the last server, um, and Clifford was awesome. Uh, so I was like, you should really do one of those. That's going to be you know one of your best bets there. Uh, and so I'd EV trained a Gyarados for him all up. It was quick and easy because Gyarados is like attack and speed. And speed is just Magikarps, and they are in abundance in this swamp back here behind the, the, the place. In fact, let's, uh, while we're talking, I'll show you guys the new expanded district. Um, so yeah, they're, they're abundant in the swamp behind the place, uh, behind spawn here. Um, just tons and tons of Magikarps. And then uh, attack stuff is essentially, um, you know, savannas and stuff like that, which we have a couple of cases by a savanna and fat man's in a savanna. Uh, so those are pretty easy too. So... Uh, yeah, the swamp here in uh, Mona's base, which we can't go in. She's got a boat. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this is the new shopping district. Jeannie's, I forget what her shop, I forget what her shop is. She's got a sign here. Let's check it out, shall we? Jeannie's bottles of refreshment and health. So she must be making potions and stuff. Uh, 
she's got she's got uh, chess here. Freshwater lemonade. Ooh, wow! I didn't know all those were in the mod now. So yeah, she must be doing potions. Um, I wonder if she's doing just mob drop potions, or um, if she's doing like like Minecraft potions too. I don't know. Not fully stocked yet, I don't think. Uh, but she's got a nice little spa area here. Although she's tapped into uh, is uh, she tapped into? I think. Well, no, maybe, maybe this is something, something that somebody's doing for. Her. Maybe I should not be in here. I'm thinking. Good lord, somebody may be trying to make an automated brewing system for her or something. I don't know. I don't know. I probably shouldn't be in here. <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, I, I maybe should check that. Well, I'll, I'll check when I'm done recording. Let's say that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we've done some EV training. Uh, EV trained a magic heart for K's, as I said before, uh, into a Gyarados. Got it all perfectly EV trained. Had an Adam and natured one. It was fantastic. Got that all trained up for him, and um, and got some even some TMs and stuff on it for him. It was going to be perfect. And then I traded it to him, um, and then he died. Like, or, or I killed him. Something something happened. I think he punched me, and I I just killed him on reflex because that's just what we do here and i think that somehow caused his his his, his pokemon to glitch uh, and so he didn't have the magic carp or the gyarados anymore so he he had a couple shiny magic carp so i ended up grinding another one up for him uh but yeah so um i know max for in exchange for the mewtwo has said he he's gonna want a little bit of ev training services as well uh so we're gonna be we're gonna be getting some stuff going here um i think let's Okay, so we've got a couple of signs here. Let's throw this on. Just put pay here. Uh, and... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> we don't need anything really fancy. Uh, so we'll put that there. Uh, this will be our payment just for now. Uh, let's see, do I want to put this? Yes. All right, perfect. Um, so let's go ahead... Um, Tortimer's one school to train them all. <laughs> all right, so there we go. We've got our little EV training shop in business. We'll probably put a book with some uh, instructions in here or something, or I will just... Essentially, if people are watching, because I know some of the Pixelmon XO people actually do watch uh, videos of other members. Um, if you guys are watching and you're interested in partaking in uh, my my evil, if you're if you're willing to wi really, willing willing to risk it, uh, wow, words today. It's been a while since I recorded, so hey, here we go. Uh, if you're willing to risk it uh, and bring your precious Pokemon to my uh, my one school to train them all, um, then uh, yeah, you'll just you'll ping me on Skype essentially, uh, private message me there, and uh, let me know what it is you're looking to get some training in on. Uh, like I think Max pinged me before I left for my mission trip. And said he had a Carvana, a shiny Carvana that he wanted trained, or maybe it was just a Carvana. I don't know. Um, but he something he wanted trained up, and I owe him some training. So just ping me. Let me know what it is you're you're looking to have trained, so I can kind of do my planning, um, and uh, and I'll figure. I can either like do what you want. Uh, like if you have an idea, of like oh, I want this guy to quick be quick, or you know, if you have any ideas on what EVs do and you want to like plan that out for me, or I'll just be like, okay, it's a Gyarados, this is what I'm going to train it in. Uh, so I can do that stuff for you. In addition to to EV training, I'll also do some of the similar consultancy stuff that we did over on Decimon. Uh, closed chest. There we go. Um, so if you guys need any help with team building or anything like that, if you're interested in those kinds of things, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, so the shop is officially open. Uh, excited about that. We'll do some trading, um, getting some payments, uh, and then obviously we've got a PC here for that. We do have a couple of dittos. Uh, I, I had caught this one myself. It's an Adam in nature, which will be good for breeding if we get a chance to do some of that at some point. Uh, but also, Jay just gave me this one 
which is a quiet nature one. We're probably going to be messing with that stuff next episode um, because people are doing some fun stuff on this server, like Max with the Mewtwo. Apparently, if you breed two dittos, they give you a random egg that can contain really anything. Uh, and people have been getting some really interesting stuff uh, with that. Uh, so I'm excited to get into that as well. So we'll probably set up a little breeding center next time, see what we can get, some fun, uh, hopefully legendaries or, or other cool things with that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, super excited about that. We're going to get into doing some training here in a bit. Uh, oh, that save light just despawned. That's disappointing. Um, with the, uh, yeah, when, once we get some, some clients, we'll do a little bit of EV training and things like that. We'll probably, I know... Um, one of the other guys on the server, Huck, uh, we did an episode with him a couple of episodes ago, him and Wynn and Beth. Uh, we were all hanging out together. Uh, he's apparently a pretty technically minded uh, uh, Pokemon player as well. Uh, and so we may be doing an episode uh, where we do some more technical talking kind of stuff because uh, I think that would be fun and you guys might enjoy that. Uh, but, yes, yeah, uh, for now, I think I'm, I'm trying to keep episodes shorter. Uh, and I think that's about all I wanted to do today. Uh, the team's coming along. I've been doing some grinding. Uh, probably not much since you guys saw them last, in all honesty, because I haven't really been on a whole lot. Um, maybe a couple of levels here or there uh, while, while training. But, uh, yeah, things are coming along. Uh, we've got Feraligator, uh, who's still pretty high up there. Chandelure is well on his way. Uh, well, on her way, Weavile is also up there. Uh, Metagross uh, is taking a little bit of his sweet time, but uh, Weezing is also so. Um, I've got the I've got the experience here on Weezing, so that's not helping a whole lot probably. Um, is there anything else new? Um, no, I haven't really trained anybody else since then. I got a shiny Shuckle uh, from Rad recently. She was trying to clean out her PC. Probably had just too much stuff she'd caught. Uh, I don't have that problem really. I've I'm, I've been doing lots of trading with people as they offer things up, and I don't really have any things to give them, I guess, unless I start divvying out. Like, I probably can get rid of this Ponytail. I'm going to probably keep this Raichu uh, and this Gyarados, and, well, definitely Boss. Um, these three can maybe get getting rid of. I liked I liked these three from the Safari games, though, uh, so I'll probably hold on to them. But there we go. The sun is rising on another beautiful day on the Pixelmon XO server. Uh, and I'm going to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time we'll probably be doing some ditto breeding and some just general uh, EV training or training. Actually, yeah, because most of my guys are, are EV trained at this point. So uh, if we get a client's Pokemon uh, that we can be working on next time, we'll be doing that. Uh, well, like the ditto's breed because it takes a, a little while for that to get going. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I've been torn with great and you guys have been great. Um, excited to get back into the swing of things. Um, oh, 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 uh, <laughs> there's a survey in the description down below. I'm definitely going to get the survey done in time for this episode. So it'll be in the description of probably every episode this week. Um, if you guys would be so kind, I'm trying to gather some information um, on what you guys are really enjoying and not enjoying and what you guys would like to see in the future. Just just basic kind of metadata stuff on the channel. Um, you guys may have seen last week, it was National Puppy Day, and if you would follow me on Twitter, you might have seen uh, me tweet out um, a picture of the little guy that we're going to be getting, Mrs. Gray and I. Uh, we're getting a puppy uh, mid-April time frame. Uh, and so that's going to take up a lot of my time. And so I need to just... Uh, it, the, the Recording is as fun as it is. It's it's essentially a second full-time job that I don't get paid for. Uh, except for, you know, for those of you guys who are super gracious and supporting me on Patreon, we are getting some support there, uh, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, but uh, for the time that this hobby takes, um, you know, the... the, the after Patreon takes its cut and everything, I probably get like nine-ish dollars from all of my Patreons over there, uh, which again is super appreciated. But um, it's a full-time job that I make like eleven dollars a month on. So I mean, as fun as playing video games are, all the editing and everything, and, and planning for episodes, and I mean, really, you think it would be nothing but fun and games, and it's it's, it's fun for sure sometimes, absolutely. Uh, but it, it can be it can be tiring, so I think we're going to be trying to shake up what we do on the channel a little bit, especially with the the arrival of the puppy next month. 
that's going to require it because I'm just not going to have as much free time uh, because I'm going to have to spend time with the puppy because I'm going to want to spend time with the puppy, uh, frankly. And uh, and it's just, you know, I'm going to have to as well. So there's really not going to be a choice there. Things are going to have to change around here. Uh, and so if you guys could fill out that survey, it's really going to help me figure out, you know, what to prioritize, how to set things up, what we're going to be doing. Um, because things are going to have to change. And I'd love for us to change based on your feedback and not me just kind of arbitrarily deciding. Because then, you know, you guys are what this is all for. So uh, if you guys would be so kind, there's a couple of questions. Uh, just fill it out. I would be super appreciative. Um, and, uh, and really, you guys are the best uh, whippersnappers out there. And so I appreciate in advance uh, you guys filling that out. If you have not done so already, because I already talked about it in the Hicksathalock, and uh, and the other, uh, well, probably nothing came out on Tuesday because we're still not doing that stuff till April. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tormer the Great and you guys have been great. Uh, make sure you leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. And I will see you all next time when we're doing some ditto breeding and probably some training uh, while that's all going on. So definitely lots of Pokemon stuff uh, next time. But yeah, I've been Tormer the Great and you guys have been great. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.